after the other one came in. So we're gonna get to unboxing it and we'll go from there. So yeah, let's begin. So for anybody asking, I normally get all my stuff from Yahoo Japan Auctions, as I said in my last video, because that is honestly sometimes the cheapest way to go. Unfortunately, with COVID being a thing, it's not as cheap as it used to be. Shipping from Japan has kind of been um, extraordinarily expensive. Would I recommend doing it right now? Absolutely not. But as always, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I do use Zen Market as they tend to be the cheapest and their service is amazing. As you can tell, the box. <laughs> oh my gosh. The box is in, well, pretty much great condition. And most of the time, they will send you a little mask as well, just to make sure that, they're take, that you're taken care of. Ooh, I'm fumbling over my words. All right, so I'm gonna begin unpacking, unpacking the contents from the box, and then we'll be back shortly. Okay, so we did unbox everything, and as you can tell, there are quite a few items. I don't know if you guys can tell, but from where I'm sitting, there's quite a few. Not as many as in the last package, um, but what was the last package was pretty much over $500 worth of items. And this package was like only, I think, 100 So nothing too crazy this time. And please don't think that over the course of um, just like a day, I went a little crazy and bought $500 worth of items. But I wouldn't put it past me. But definitely didn't do this over the course of over, like I want to say, two or three months. So, all right. Throwing that over there. So our first one I will definitely have to clean up a bit, but we did get a Marill, and it is a Tommy. doesn't unfortunately have a tag, but it does have a string in which the tag would have come from. It has this old little pink tag, it's a cute little tail. So yeah, I definitely will be cleaning this one up as it's actually way more dirty than what I uh, was hoping it'd be, so. That's our Maroon. All right, this one is going to be safe for last because, yeah, absolutely love it. Our next thing is going to be this little package. It has three items in it. Very good. Do I still have a camera? Just sure. My cameraman is um, helping make sure that I don't get my face on camera and everything else. So, okay. So to start off, we got, these are a lot smaller than what I thought they'd be, but we have a Nitto Ran, and what these are, are basically little coin banks, made way back when for kids, put like their, um, yen coins in, I don't know what all of them are, but basically for us it'd be like pennies, nickels, dimes, etc. So we got I can get these open. Good old scissors. Let's try that again. Good old scissors. <laughs> how wonderful Zen Market is. Again, I'm not sponsored, but they know I buy a lot from the Pokemon Center in Japan, so they always send me the box, which they don't have to, but honestly, I love these boxes, so I have no problem with it. They even break it down to save on shipping, which is 
pretty much a blessing. <laughs> yeah. And so these ones, um, I did not just get for myself, but they will be used because somebody, not mentioning any names, yeah, I see you waving, uh, was complaining that I never had like hand towels or I don't know what you call them, like washcloths. I guess because he dries his hand on washcloth. I always have towels, but not washcloths. So, we got Sylvia, and I'm going to be using this one because I do have another one. Glacian and Leafion. Umbreon and Espion. And Eevee. All three of the um, original Evolution. And then Sylveon and Eevee. So yeah, are you happy you have your washcloths now, or whatever they're called? Very much so. Huh? Very much so. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> oh, my head is like itching. Anyway. So next up, I did buy these from the Pokemon Center um, in Japan directly, because I was not going to spend an arm and a leg to get them. Um, just to let y'all know, this is from the newest game that they released on the mobile app called Pokemon Cafe. And I did get two of their plushies. So I got, ooh, if I can move the bag. I got the Lucario plush, which the tag is absolutely cute. Always has cute artwork. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can zoom in on it and show them because I feel like it's so far away. Yeah. So we got Lucario, although his head doesn't really stay standing, nor does he. Look at how small his feet are compared to his head. That's crazy. So we got that one. And then you all should probably know what the next one is. If you all play the Pokemon Cafe, the one you start with is obviously Eevee. And Eevee is like pretty much my main collection. Although at this point, I don't even know what I collect anymore aside from anything and everything. At least it's what it feels like. Oh, I don't know what that is, I'll have to look. And we also got an Eevee. I love this Eevee so much. <laughs> and then here's the tag. So yeah, the tag does have their artwork on it. And then I don't know what else I got. I think there's something random in here. I think there's sticker stickers. I don't know. Maybe I've ordered a certain amount. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I guess this is for the... What's it say? I think this is from the newest anime and or slash... No, it's not the movie. But basically, if I can zoom in right there, you can see that. That's a sticker that they gave me. I have no idea why. Probably because I purchased over a couple dollars or just like maybe over $50 worth. They tend to give away free stuff, so... And now this is something that might help me get a little bit more better at studying Japanese. <laughs> Even though I have no idea how to use it, let alone I can barely read anything on it. So this is like one of those, at least what I'm guessing, don't quote me, but this is one of those like, um, what are those things called, like where you pull the... You know, it's the American, like, like the cow goes moo and then it plays that song or something. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Like the little crank. I'll put a picture of it when I'm in the video to, like, not sound crazy. So, yeah. So, this is the box that comes with it. And I guess it teaches you. I can't even tell if it's candy or not. Wow, I'm terrible. But anyway. So, basically, it teaches you the letters or the characters, I should say. It's like one of those things where if you push the letter in, it makes the letter Yeah, itself. something like that. So I'm going to get the box out. Not bad, but, well, actually, no, this out of the box to begin with. So I'm guessing that's what it is, but I'm probably wrong, so I can't read much Japanese at all. We have 
batteries are probably <sighs> didn't want to do that, but I guess I had to. In fact, you know what? No, it's just probably not. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, as you can see, it's a made by Tommy, as always. Basically, you press these little buttons, and I guess they make sound. I'll have to figure that out because I kind of want to. I kind of want to really figure it out. Yeah, you got lots of characters and stuff. So um, we'll put batteries into it, and then we will show it off to y'all. There's that, and then also it comes with this little booklet of how to work it. I guess not entirely sure, but it does come with a manual. So we'll have to figure out what kind of batteries it takes. Lord only knows if it'll take the right batteries, or at least American batteries. Alright, I'm gonna toss that over there, slide that over there, and now last but not least, I found one of my mini holy grails. I have wanted this thing for quite some time, believe it or not, and I found it for a decent price that was not $100 plus, and that is Tommy DX Lupia. And then it also has its hang tag. As you all know, I am a person who absolutely loves their tags. So, can they see it? Is it all on camera? So, as you can see, it is an absolutely huge figure and it's brand spanking new. I'm like going to cry over this. This is so cool. So, it's a brand new figure. I mean, I say brand new, but it was made way back when, like, way early. So, yeah, this is one of my holy grails because I love collecting the DX Giants. In fact, just as a comparison, I mean, I don't have the birds yet, but here is a Ryko, and that's how much bigger it is. Like, literally, here's the plush for comparison. Like, it is absolutely huge, and I love it. <laughs> so yeah, so that was basically what was our last little grand finale. So I hope you enjoyed these videos, and as I say, if you like them, um, please leave a comment and tell me what your favorite Pokemon is, and what you'd like to see in future episodes. So I hope you all have enjoyed this mini unboxing. Might be a while before my other stuff comes in, because it's all coming from Japan and with COVID. Lord only knows what'll happen. But yeah, so... I got one of my mini grails. <laughs> so yeah, so the next Lugia mini grail will be the Hasbro talking Lugia. So we'll see what happens. But overall, thank you for watching and have a great one guys. Bye. Okay, so here's that um, Pokemon alphabet thing or character thing that I was talking about. So you turn it on. Okay. And then if you press like, so that's like foo, new, can't, su, shu, ku, and it just basically goes through all of them. Um, yeah, so I don't know what that one does. I think that's like a space maybe? Um, and then they have like little games, like, so you have that, you have... and this is, I think, what Pokemon is it? And then you have to spell it out, um, so you basically find the characters and then spell it out, so like, and then it tells you, like, oh, that's the wrong one, try again. Now, which one is it? You got this pretty much, and then... The question one is, um... The question one is basically find the character that is me. So, <clears throat> pretty much. So that's new, so you obviously don't find it. And then if you find it... I can't remember which one's me. That's Moo, that's Foo, that's new. 
Me. That's one of these, I think. Or is it me? Yep. So I don't know which one it is, but... Um, which one do you all think it is? So it's me instead of me. So she. She. So yeah, it basically goes through that. <clears throat> So, yep, it tells you um, when you can go through it, like, if you get it wrong or if you get it right. So, there you go. That's your little um, Pokemon alphabet. Obviously, I'm not good at it, but hopefully within time. So, there you go. Hope y'all enjoyed this little weird thing. <laughs> Bye, guys.